Catching swarms is one of the coolest things about beekeeping. You know what's even cooler? Getting your swarms through the winter. Buzz. Buzz, buzz, This colony is a swarm I caught last summer. They made it through our long winter, and now it's time to remove the candy board and give them sugar syrup and pollen patties. I'm going to show you how I caught this swarm, but first a little background. Swarming is the way honeybee colonies naturally reproduce. When a colony grows too big for its living space, whether it's a hollow tree or a beekeeper's hive, they select three to 12 larvae as queen replacement candidates. These queens-to-be are fed a special diet that allows their reproductive organs to fully develop. After five days, the colony caps the cells, and then the old queen and about 50% of the colony leave the hive. They form a cluster on a tree, or a mailbox, or even the side of another hive, then send out scouts to find a new permanent home. They'll only stay in this temporary location from two hours to two days, so acting fast is important. This swarm came from one of my colonies. They politely clustered near the ground, which made everything easy. I gently lifted the branch and slid a five-gallon bucket underneath the cluster. When I shook the branch, most fell directly into the bucket. I put on the lid, and within 45 minutes, the rest crawled in with them. I've used this swarm bucket many times. Here's how it works. The lid has a descending funnel that is narrower at the bottom than at the top. Once I shake in a swarm, the colony climbs up the side of the bucket and suspends from the screen. If I got the queen, they use their wings to fan a pheromone called nasinoff out through the screen. To bees that didn't get shaken into the bucket, this smells like home. They fly towards the scent and eventually crawl into the funnel and join the rest of the colony. It usually takes about 45 minutes for all of the bees to get inside. I can then transport them to their permanent home. It's really easy at this point. I just lift the lid, swing the cluster over the new hive, and give a few shakes. Got a picture of that? Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, perfect. You dropped it right oh, through you the sun. Crush them. Good boy. Most drop right in. After that, it works just like it works with the swarm bucket. The colony fans out the Nasanoff pheromone, the stragglers fly in, and they all settle into their new home. If everything goes right, they grow into a strong colony by fall, make it through winter, and provide a great honey harvest the next year. Blue, 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 blue.